Hello and welcome back to another day in the life of an AI trainer, part 10. This is the 10th one I've done of these. So if you've missed any of the others, go check them out. I do them every Thursday. So today was a really cool day. I got to do an entire AI training day on creative thinking. And there's some people out there that think AI and creative thinking don't go together, but AI can actually enhance a lot of the work that you're doing, taking away some of the smaller, simpler stuff and actually elevating you to a much higher level. So I'm a big fan of creating new frameworks <laughs> and I created a new framework called Create. So you'll see a little clip of it in the background in a second. But yes, creative thinking day, very fun. And part of the Create framework is something that gets missed a lot. When you are strategically planning a campaign or a business plan or anything, an event perhaps, I think the part that gets missed is you you plan everything, you organize who's going to be doing what, but then you don't actually look at where the faults might lie. So I'm a big fan of running pre-mortems. And you've probably heard of a post-mortem, which is like a dead body, <laughs> but a pre-mortem is like pre-death. So you can look at a campaign after it's failed and you can be like, why are all the reasons it's failed so that we can prevent it from happening again? Or you could do a pre-mortem and basically look at all the reasons why it could fail in the future and then make sure that they don't happen. And you can do that with AI. So with the Create Framework, I actually created a booklet with uh, prompts for each of the acronyms, like each of the points, so C-R-E, etc. And one of them is, you know, examine flaws, and that's the pre-mortem. So you basically build the plan, you make it as strong as humanly possible, and then you break it, and then you armor your ideas, and you you build it back even stronger. So I'm a big fan of running pre-mortems when it comes to strategic planning and creative thinking. Um, this day kind of like wiped me out. I also went to a prospective client meeting afterwards in architecture, which was really cool, a qualified architect. And I went to go meet an architecture firm that I actually worked for a long time ago. And I needed a little bit of recovery time. So had some fresh air, walked, hung out with my cat. She's fun. She's a little bit crazy. But overall, it was a great day. Training. Love it. Love what I do. <laughs> Love my cat. And I look forward to seeing you again next week. Wish you all the best. Bye.